Hi, I'm Shannon Henry, an Applications Engineer here at EMA Design Automation. PCB part placement is a very important part of the design process and will drive the success of the entire project. Part placement affects everything from manufacturing to electrical performance. While it can seem like an overwhelming task, sometimes with hundreds of parts being imported at once and a rat's nest of connections, placement can be achieved with a few simple steps. Chances are the shape of your board is defined by the mechanical housing, but how should part placement be decided and what factors need to be considered? The best way to manage a rat's nest of components is to group parts and connections. This can be accomplished by referencing the schematic and clustering the components. In these clusters, components should be organized so the signal connections are at their shortest. Please note that some PCB software offers cross-probing features between the schematic and PCB, allowing components to be easily identified and grouped based on the flow of the schematic. Once these groups have been defined, they can then be arranged on the PCB. Groups should be organized according to their connectivity to one another, as well as their input and output connectors. Here's a tip. Try to organize circuits with similar voltages near each other. This will simplify decisions with copper pores or power and ground planes. If space is tight, some groups or components may need to be moved to the other side of the board. This decision should not be taken lightly as there may be significant cost increase in the manufacturing process. First, try rotating the parts rearranging the components in the group, or stretching the groups vertically or horizontally. If some parts do need to be moved onto the secondary side of the board, start with similar discrete parts like capacitors and resistors. Here are some additional tips for PCB part placement. Create a library of thoroughly reviewed component footprints. This will save you time and ensure there are no errors. If possible, include 3D models for the components in your library. This will help finalize part placement. Create a template for your layout including design units, layer and net colors, trace width, and via sizes. While designs may be different in the future, this will save you time and give you a standard format for your designs. Assign different colors to power and ground nets. And turn off the connections for these pins. This will reduce the number of connections and allow you to see the circuit more clearly. PCB part placement can make or break your design. Keep these tips in mind and be sure to check out our next Whiteboard Wednesday session for more tips on part placement from the PCB design experts here at EMA Design Automation.